back to JM League 8. It is a welcome back this time. On the first take of the first one, I actually said welcome back, even though it was just a welcome. Yeah, because it was the first set. <laughs> yeah. We're on the second set now. Yeah. I am... looking forward to the match that we've got on today. Who do you think Helicom will play? Probably DDD would be my guess. Cause it's oh yeah, like... the, the matchup is Leo MCI versus Helicon. Yeah. Well, they can read the thumbnail. They know how to read. That's a good point. I forgot about the thumbnail, I'm not gonna lie. Unless Pitt is watching our videos, because he's never learned how to read. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway, we got Leo and Scott doxing them both. <laughs> Lamau, I don't ex I don't know, man. I wonder what Leo MCI's name is. It's MCI. <laughs> <laughs> He, he just wanted to be like MK Leo Wait, before his maybe name. Maybe it's Leo Mickey. Because it's Leo Mickey? McInnany, right? So wouldn't it be Leo Mickey? Don't dox him. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. I don't know, man. We have done things that cannot be you undone. You make your tag, your first name, and then the first two syllables of your last name, you're basically asking to dox yourself. Hey, man. That's on him. <laughs> Exactly, it's not on me. Alright. Oh. We've got Link, as or expected. Do or do we? Yes, I we do. Know, does he actually have any other characters? Leo. Yeah. Um, he, he plays like all the sorties. Yeah, no. DDD checks out. But Leo has like a Cloud, an Ike. Or oh, the Kirby? Kirby? Is he, is he all right. to the Kirby? They do realize that you're supposed to do characters before stage, right? Who gives a shit? It's PS2. True! <laughs> nice transition. Yeah, thanks for that, Jerry. Yeah. Oh, and I, I like the covers on the o colors on the overlay. It's very Even though nice. it says Mars vs. Neon. <laughs> that's fine. But that's alright. We'll fix it on the fly. I think we have to edit it like manually like last time, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Pretty good start for our top seed Leo MCI here. How do we even forget to mention that? He's the top seed going into this Oh tournament. yeah, he is the top seed, because he won last time. But, yeah, pretty strong start. Uh, Helicon, trying to get something on the board here. Yeah. Landing air, landing fair, landing there, not me meeting their mark. However, Kirby is a short boy himself, so it's kind of hard for Link to scoop him up with like, rising fares, or but, falling fares. But at the same time, Kirby's so slow that it's kind of hard to, like, actually get in on Link. Yeah, I really liked that setup that Leo was going for there. Unfortunately, it did get intercepted, but it was, like, still pretty smart nonetheless. Helicon doing alright so far. Yeah, pretty even. Oh, that's, that's gone. It. Yep. As I say that, just up smash out of shield. Yeah, the big difference maker in this one is going to be that Link is heavy and Kirby's not. <laughs> so, mm. um, Leo's going to have to get a lot less percent to be killing Helicon. That was a really good up B. Yeah, I mean, not just, the second one, but the first one to ledge was good. Yeah. Ooh. Just threading the needle. That was a that was good character knowledge with that edge, but just kind of getting ledge trapped into oblivion there. Well. I'm not so sure about these, like, additional Ooh. uppies onto ledge. Like, watch him... I was gonna say, watch him do it again. Yeah. Not really but working on Leo. It's something that Hansa does, like, a lot as well, on Ike, although... You can Ike has the super off. armor. Yeah, Ike gets a lot more off of it. Narrowly missing that back air. Yeah. Can our boy Helicon get a stock? I reckon oh. he can, but it's looking sun yeah. a bit dicey. It is. Oh, he was trying to go for some cheese there. I swear, Helicon almost ran out of jumps there. He's re-grabbed. What is he? What is he doing? He, oh. Oh no. He's back off stage. Dude, the oh. ledge trapping from Leo this set has been so good. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard for Kirby to get off ledge. For Whoa, what? What? <laughs> what was that hitbox? That has got to be one of the goofiest kills of the league. That was one of the hitboxes of all time. It was. It was one of the launch angles of all time. Relative to the hitbox. Oh no, that's fuck? an SD! <laughs> A little bit. Kirby does have some pretty mediocre air drift, so it checks out. But... 
That was kind of funny. That was so goofy, yeah. Alright, you reckon we'll see a DDD swap? Wait a sec. I just realized that the colors are blue and pink, and those are the colors of Link and Kirby. Huh. You All make right. a good point. But we're not, the, we're not getting that, so... Except that I think Leo is the pink player? Oh, the no. sides are backwards. That's weird. That's confusing, because you got in the UI. Yeah. But... Here comes GDD. Combo food for Link. However, he's gonna be living quite a bit longer. Dude, that's 76 and we've barely started. Yeah. So, it's gonna be rough for uh, your boy Oh my god, what? already? What? That was some wonky DI. <laughs> it was. Oh. Oh, that shield. That was Pri dangerous. Prime breaking percent. Like a, a solid down B here. Is gonna do wonders. Ooh. However, oh, do you do combos always feel like they're gonna come out so chunky? Well, they are chunky moves. They just like are attached to a character who has a million years of startup. One thing I think that's like really rough for Helicon here is that Leo loves to be ahead because then he can sort of fight on his own terms. Yeah, like set up shit with like without having to worry about like. Actually, maybe like rushing down or zoning out his opponent. Oh my god! Really good super armor. Dude, the armor just beating the spike there was insane. Yeah. Again. Yeah, you kind of can't do much with that DDD thing that was on top of you. Really good in there to stop the Gordo. Yeah. Oh. DDD is fat, so that fair is gonna scoop him from behind. Mm. Oh, this is this is Dunzo. Ooh! Yep. Caught the re-grab. Yeah, one thing that I've seen oh. um, Static do a lot. I'm not sure if everyone in JML will know who Static is, but he is a pretty good DDD player. He does like the the planking, Ooh, and then he upbees straight. No, oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say upbees straight onto the stage with the super armor, but no super armor there. <laughs> yeah, maybe Helicon was a little bit. A little bit gung ho about not warming up today. Perhaps a little bit. Perhaps a little bit. Just a bit. There was like some glimpses of him doing some good stuff there, though. Like, hmm. if he can and sort of de rust, I it's always going to be hard when you're fighting the top seed. Like, yeah, getting one game is like a really big deal, and so I mean, getting a game on. Basically anyone in this round, unless you're unseated, is a pretty big deal. Yeah. Like, if you're in the lower half, I mean. Mario. And, I mean, Helicon is just barely in the lower half. What? Yeah, here's the... Leo MC Ike. <laughs> huh. Alright, I guess we'll see a completely different matchup here. Yep. Um, Mario is a good pick from Helicon, I want to say. Like... Being able to gimp Ike really easily with Flood. That is true, yeah. Flood can kind of screw over Ike. And Battlefield is probably both characters' best stage, so... Mm. I remember... Because we had Hunt, this exact same matchup in Hunter vs. Epic back in JML4. And Hunter made a comment about how... Oh! <laughs> what a call-out! About how he kind of regretted going to Battlefield, because while it's Ike's best stage, it's better for Mario. Yeah. But Leo doesn't look like he cares whether it's a good stage for Mario or not. Yeah. I also don't know if Helicon has enough experience with Mario to actually, like, be able to abuse the reasons it is. Oh, oh no! Again. Caught doing the same thing. That's that's just something you can do, though, against someone that, like, spams their dodges and is maybe less experienced with Ike. You just, like throw them up and wait for them to like try and land on you aggressively and you just smash yeah. them for it. Oh uh, no. No. no! no! You hate to see that. Well, that was... That was the set. Was, was that a sub one minute game? Surely uh, not. <laughs> I think it was. Either way, that may be the shortest match in JM League history. Or no, shortest game in JM no, League history. No, because we had a, we literally in the last set, we had a 36 second game. What the fuck? Because <laughs> right. we, had, we had Connor's Ganon versus Sean 2's, or Neon's, Rosa. And that took exactly like 36 seconds. Alright.
Anyway, good job to Leo. 3-0 on his half. Let's hope Pelicon can de-rust more in future sets.